August 28, 1947, a multimillionaire and a bull killed each other and plunged an entire nation into deep mourning. The bull's name was Isledo, and he was of the dreaded Miura strain. The man's name was Manolete, and he was considered the bravest and most skillful matador of modern times. Camara spotted him, saw that Manolete really had great talent, but that he was trying to do the wrong kind of passes for his build. Camara took the boy under his wing. He wouldn't let him practice anything but the five classic passes, none of the fancy cape twirling tricks and fakery that was so in vogue. He taught him how to stand, how to walk into a ring, how to hold himself. Then he launched his protege. Manolete was an overnight sensation, for never had the public seen such a pure classic style, such cold courage in front of a charging bull. They'd never seen a man plant his feet on the sand and then not move them back an inch as the bull's horn sliced by his body. The man would not dodge out of the bull's way. He would make it get out of his way by controlling it completely with his magic cape. He proved that bullfighting is not the struggle between a man and a bull, but rather the struggle between a man and himself. His funeral was one of the largest Spain has ever seen. Every Spaniard, whether a duke or a shoeshine boy, deeply felt that part of him and part of Spain had died with Manolete. So much so that they almost forgot that they had been the ones who had killed him. One of Manolete's banderilleros said as he looked at the grave, they kept demanding more and more of him, and more was his life. So he gave it to them. <laughs>